let's uh, start this uh, lab 05 we left two tasks from lab 04 so today we are going to complete task 4 and task 5 let's open this uh, lab menu and find uh, task 4 and 5 task 4 get a reverse shell while shell shock attack and task file using the patched uh, bash to redo task 3 and describe your observation during the lecture we demonstrated how to create a reverse shell so we may uh, open the slides to find how to type the to create the reverse shell to construct the command okay here is the command line how do we construct and attack to get a reverse shell I would like to start from the folder of our lab 04 We need to start up the container from the lab setup. We open a terminal window here. And run DC up. Okay, the container is up. Open a new tab. Now we want to uh, connect to the container. Doc appears. There's a container name and its uh, ID. Doc share. Type the first uh, several character or its ID. Okay, now we are inside the container. When you open a new tab. On this tab, we will construct the uh, attack uh, with this line. Curl dash A attack uh, hello. Uh, interactive redirect the standard output to the network connection now the IP address we need to find the local IP address of a new tab in this tab I find a local IP address it is yours may be different so this is mine emp 0 s 3 and paste it here again we still need to run a local server we run the local server with uh, nc netcat lesson for example, port number 
Okay, now the local server is running. We can continue constructing this attack. 1990, this is the port number you are listening. If you use a different one, just change the one you used. We direct the input from the TCP connection and the standard error output to the connection. Then the, the container, we know it's an IP address, right? So how do we find a, in our previous lab, we use a name instead of the IP address. So you, you have two ways. The first way, you may use this name as we set it up in our lab 04, or you use this IP address. For confirmation, we may check his IP address, whether it's still this one, inside the container. The IP ADDR. OK, we see the uh, IP address is still this one. 10.9.0.80. You may use this uh, IP address or use this uh, name. It's up to you. I'm going to type HTTP paste the container IP address CGI bin Now we want to attack that uh, vulnerable CGI script raw.cgi like This line we are constructing numpy's under This attack, we are run this command on on the kernel, on the container inside the kernel on the server. Okay, it's running. We can go back to the local server. Here you see the local server. It show up two lines. These arrows is okay. Just disregard this. Errors. The important thing is this one. You see the user is www dash data, and here is a container ID, and the folder is inside the script folder. We will type ls. You see those two uh, script. We are familiar with these two script on lab 04. Now you see we get a reverse shell connect to the container. Here is my local machine, seed LVM. From my local machine, I set up a reverse shell connect to the server, this one, the container. And I can uh, run command from the local machine. nothing in temp and you can see the photos inside the container and this is a reverse shell non task uh, file using the patched bash uh, before we start a task file, let's uh, stop this reverse shell. Or you may uh, open a new tab to continue. I would like to stop this shell. Press Ctrl D. Uh, Ctrl D does not work. Just tap exit.
Okay, press Ctrl C to quit it. Yeah, like it looks like Ctrl D exit. Oh, that's not work. Since I exited the remote share, now you can check this uh, attack. It also quit it. Okay, keep the container running. Here it asks us, let's use the bash program that has already been patched. Is this one the bin bash in the container? And I replace, uh, replace the first line of the CGI program with this uh, patched version and redo task 3 and describe your audition. It's expected that we will not be able to uh, attack the container anymore, which means the task is in task 3 will fail. Yeah, task 3, we did uh, 4 tasks in task 3. Okay, how do we uh, change the script file in the container? There are two ways. You may work inside the container directly. We have an editor called uh, nano and cd to that folder. Yes, you see these two scripts, right? Here is uh, inside the container. And use nano to uh, add this uh, var.cgi because all these tasks are using this var.cgi. var.cgi and now you see the first line. Use your arrow key to move your cursor. Use your delete. Use your delete key to delete the. Now we left the bin bash. Okay, to write this file, we need to press Ctrl O. Here, this uh, O or W, they are not not upcase. We just uh, press Ctrl O. Ctrl O. When it says file name to write, you can uh, press this key. But here, I just press uh, Enter to write it. Press Enter. It says uh, load six lines. Then I press Ctrl X to exit. X is uh, exited. To confirm it. You can use a cat to show its content. But you see the first line becomes this one, bin bash. The second way you may uh, modify the script, then copy the script into this uh, container. For example, that get in dot cgi. Right, you see it used this vulnerable version. Because the container has very limited uh, resource, for example, the editor it has only a nano we installed. On our local machine, we have lots of powerful editors, so we can use our local editor to modify the files. Actually, all these files we have a copy inside our mgww. Here, I created a new one called gget env.cgi. It's just a copy of this one and uh, modify the first line. You can see the difference. Diff get. I need to go to that folder first. We compare these two files. Now you see for the left one, the original one, the first line is this vulnerable bash, and for this second one is the patched version. 
Now, how could we copy this one to our container? We can use a docker copy this, this local one to the container. To copy to the container, we need its uh, ID or its uh, name. Here, let's use uh, its name. Paste here. By default, it will copy to its uh, root folder, so we can specify the absolute path. Use bin CGI bin. Right, this is a folder inside the container. Use the lib CGI dash bin or a quick way. We just copy this part. And paste here. Okay, I use its name instead of its ID. It says no such uh, directories. It looks like the name it, uh, is not recognized. So let's uh, use this one. Paste here. We can verify first. Here inside the container, we don't have uh, gget en with cgi. Right? We only have the original version. Now you can copy this one to there. Right? You copy the local gget en with cgi to the inside the container into the container. Now go back to the container. Root tab ls. Right? You see that uh, gget en with cgi. So we have two ways. First way you add it inside the command, the second way you add it in your virtual machine, then use doc copy to copy the modified file into the container. Okay, now let's uh, launch uh, the task uh, three. We don't need to uh, type this command one by one. We can find uh, in our uh, bash history. So we type history grab curl. And now you see all the commands you start with the curl. They are all here. So open a new terminal. Open a new tab. Then from this uh, tab, we can copy for task 3.8, get the, the content of this etc password. So we can scroll up to find uh, to find that one we want to get its password. Here you see the temp. So let's see which one is uh, User to get the password file here. So you can copy this one, or you just type exclamation mark file for two. For those students from um, my ID is 372, you know that. Here, let's just use a copy and a paste. And a paste here. If we it use the one version we will get the contents of this password file. Now we use the patched version. Press enter. You see we only get the hello world. That X to command. Here we only get this hello world, right? The X to or this X command. They are not executed. So the attack failed.
text 3b to show the ID. Since all these extra command cannot be executed, you will see lots of fail. Here for that uh, ID, this one. Now is file for three. We may run it like this for three with exclamation mark. We will also see a single hello world. Right. See just see a hello world. We will not see this ID. Task three B. Task three C. Task three C to uh, create a file in the temp folder. Here we are going to create a file named as a virus. It's a file for four. File for four. You see again a hello world is failed. You can check in the container. Here root at is id. ls tmp. You see now nothing, nothing inside this temp folder. So this a uh, file creation failed. The last one uh, file deletion. We don't have a file over there, so we can create a file inside the server. We can use the touch. TMP test. We create a file named uh, test inside the TMP folder. For simplicity, we are using the commands we typed in lab04. We may create a file with the same name. Then you can run the command to delete that one. Right? Here we scroll down. This is remove file for eight. File for eight. Again, you only see a hello world because the attack failed. So we completed a task file. The observation is all attacks failed. Okay, we completed our lab.